I'm uh, Christine Shoemaker, and um, I live in Los Angeles, California. Um, my work is basically about body image and um, identity and society's perception of beauty and the media's distortion of beauty. Um, I have an eating disorder, and so um, I, you know, focus on uh, body dysmorphia, and you know, I, I'm all about equality, and um, I hate labels and. Beauty, I mean, beauty, they say, is in the eye of the beholder, you know, and I say this and people cringe, but I don't think I'm beautiful. Um, I mean, like I said, beauty comes with brilliance and personality. You know, back in the Renaissance time, my body would have been beautiful, you know, but it's changed because of society today and because media runs it. I mean, without advertising, I think people would see the body, people would see beauty as a totally different thing. It started out in Second Life, the 3D online virtual world. For my master's thesis, I compared myself with my avatar, who was my ideal self. She was tall, thin, blonde. My painting professor, she had you know, asked me why my avatar looks like that. And at the same time, I realized I had an eating disorder. And so I really started to delve into that and look at, you know, okay, why is she my ideal self? Why do I need an ideal self? I started a project called the Gracie Kindle Project. Um, Gracie Kindle is the name of my avatar. And I wanted to continue with the idea of body image and how it affects us in society and especially in Los Angeles. All of a sudden one day I was like, I need to shave my head. My work's also about mixing realities and I wanted to, um, to like blur the line between the virtual world of Second Life and the physical world. I had my avatar shave her head. She was on a screen projected behind me. And I did it in front of like 40 or 50 people here at the brewery. And it was amazing. It was like, it was the most freeing thing I've ever done. So I actually took one of my paintings and used it as a skin on my avatar. Because I'm all about blurring the line between the virtual and the physical, I decided to bring the avatar to real life. And um, I did that by painting mannequins in my abstract style. I tested on regular mannequins that I actually bought on Amazon, and but they're thin. I did find plus size mannequins, and that kind of helped change it a little bit because it's not just about thin or curvy, it's about everything in between. You know, there's no ideal body shape or size. You know, the media wants you to think there is, but really there isn't. My painting became like a symbol of skin. Um, I called the project with the mannequins a comfortable skin uh, because I wanted to talk about how, you know, I'm hoping that we're comfortable in our own skin. Like if I can paint a mannequin, you know, I can paint anything. I found like a little girl's vanity, like a princess or Barbie vanity online. I actually called my first one a young girl's vanity because I wanted to talk about how little girls from an early age are kind of trained, conditioned, taught that being pretty is more important than anything, and it's not. So I painted these vanities, you know, and they looked really cool, really pretty, and I showed one in a gallery, and, you know, kids were walking up to it and thought it was so cool and wanted to have one, and I'm like, how is that showing that, you know, I mean, they're pretty, <laughs> so how am I supposed to get away from that? So I decided I needed to distress them. And that's actually what I'm working on now, where I actually like ran over one with my car. <laughs> you know, actually breaking them and I'm reconstructing them. And this part of the project is called Deconstructing Vanity. So, you know, I see beauty in color. And, you know, of course, most of my work is very, very colorful. My work is, like I said, is about being original, is about uh, being yourself and standing out and being brave and fearless and not afraid to stand up for what you believe in. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess that's the gist of it. <laughs>